cycle, students may experience difficulties at different points. Ongoing assessment assists teachers in identifying points where interventions are necessary. The following supports may be beneficial. Yeah. So you've stated an opinion, right? You've done a very good job. You've said, oh, here's my opinion. Mrs. Reed, I think it's a bad idea. Okay. Another part of this knowledge piece, though, is also that we have to know to write what type of genre? A letter. A letter, right? So what can you show me as well? What have you done that, that shows that you know that you wrote a letter correctly? Uh, uh, greeting, okay, date, greeting. and paragraphs. Okay, and you're looking at, you've got paragraphs as well. And probably if we look even further, do you have more? Closing. A closing. Okay. And sincerely. Sincerely, which was, what did, we, that was, what did we call that? Do you remember? Uh, the signature, right? Yeah. You're looking at the signature. So you've done a very good job with those. We have our graphic organizers. And the reason that I posted this is, that they see the different ones. And we've worked with each of these during a lesson and said, this is how you use it. So we've used it in the guided reading sense. We've used it as a whole class instruction where I've modeled it as well as a teacher to compare and contrast. And one of the really great things is that I've made laminated posters here that have all of those graphic organizers. So the students can come and get them at their own willing and they know how to use them and they can come and they know over in our student materials section they know where to get the dry erase markers so they can come and use that and they are independent or they can work in a group and they know how to use them all and they can choose the various one because not one graphic organizer is going to work for every situation so the student can choose what works best for them so to organize their thoughts. It also really works well when they're doing a writing assessment because then the students know to apply those strategies when they're brainstorming for their activity. One of the great things about those graphic organizers is we can use them across curricular. So I can use them for science or I can use them in my language class. Uh, a lot of times, a lot of the literature and the text that we're using are already in social studies. So if we have that graphic organizer up, then we can stick that up on the wall. And when we come and revisit that, we can use that in our lessons in social studies, for example, or once again, refer back to it in science. Well, the, there's various anchor charts in the room for one reason, to promote communication and the development of the proper language that they need for specific subject areas. Uh, in terms of writing, which we were working on today, we've got a couple of anchor charts that are being developed that show the features that are required for certain types of writing. Well, those are there for them to be able to refer to, to remember and use the ideas that we've learned from our mentor text and be able to apply them themselves. All of the, the sentence strips that are posted in the classroom are given, the, the child who said that is given credit. It not only gives them ownership, it shows, it shows their contribution, we value their thinking, their understanding, and it's there as a helpful resource forevermore. If it's up on the wall, it's there for a reason. If it's up on the wall, it's been developed and we've learned before it went on the wall. If you came into my classroom in September, all of these bulletin boards would be blank. They're not filled up before the kids come in. Everything that goes up, we've, we've learned with, we've used, and that's when it can go onto the wall. What I want to do today is to look at your writing piece here, okay? This was our persuasive piece that you had to write an opinion. Do you remember what you were writing about? The uh, school uniforms. Right. So we, you had to choose a position, either for or against, okay? And we're looking at the knowledge and understanding category of your learning. So if you think back to the rubric that we have on the back of our wall, that's making sure that you have deep understandings of everything that needs to be in that text form. Okay? So do you want to look through here 
and maybe we could read over your, your story. Do you want to read it out loud? And then if you see something that you did well in the knowledge category, do you want to highlight that and show me that you know that that would fit into the knowledge category? That's something we'd see in the persuasive text form. Okay. Read it out loud? Yeah, just go ahead and read it. Dear Mrs. Reed, I think that school uniforms would be a bad idea, and here are some reasons why. 